All right, hey, it's Wednesday, and we're out on the Willoway dock here, and the guys are checking in orders, getting things ready to, to load these trucks with these beautiful plants. Hey, let's take a walk through the dock and see what's loading it. So right off the bat here, we're looking at Baptisia, and um, this is a great plant. It, once established, it has a nice shape to it and offers these beautiful cobalt blue flowers that people are looking for. Let's go in the back here. We're looking at those uh, Raymond Evans and Clematis, and I'll try to get out in the growing area and show you what they look like in mass uh, as we're getting ready to ship those. But I mean, these are just wonderful plants. Full trellis loaded with buds. We're looking at magic carpet spirea there. The hostas are up looking sensation. So here we're looking at seven gallon. This is Hetz columnaris. And uh, these are outstanding plants here. The beautiful seven gallons, good shape to them, nice consistent crop. Good value on these. That's columnaris, seven gallons. Ferns are coming in from the greenhouse. We'll see a lot of those uh, coming in. And here we have the new Physocarpus from Proven Winners. This is Summer Wine Black. And uh, we see this gorgeous foliage on that. That's going to have a lot of color throughout the year. Dianthus we're looking at is Paint the Town Fuchsia, loaded with buds. Asiatic lilies have been coming up to the dock here. You can see the nice, full, heavy plants loaded with flower buds. You can see them uh, moving those daylilies around. We got a great selection of daylilies. They're all looking sensational right now. I'm going to spin around here. You can see paniculatas. They're coming out, leafed out. Again, that trim is really paying off in dividends now. These are going to be beautifully shaped. This one that we're looking at now is limelight, three gallons. We're going to see a lot of these on the dock. We got an outstanding uh, special going on right now on cherries. And uh, these are snow fountain, top grafted snow fountain cherries. Um, so be sure to check it with our sales team. Outstanding opportunity you don't want to miss. More color here. We're coming on. The ferns again are looking just sensational from the, the greenhouse up, looking really good. Heucra. This is wild rose. Again, you'll see in our greenhouse video how. That crop is coming on very nice. Wow, look at that yellow. This is uh, Lemon Daddy Hydrangea, and uh, these are looking great. Here's our three gallon Lemon Daddies. That adds a lot of color with that chartreuse blast in a nice shady area of the garden. We'll spin over here. This is a sample of some of the city line hydrangeas that we forced, in, or heated up, I should say. And they're just loaded with buds, guys. Don't miss out on these. And here we're looking at, I uh, showed you last week, this is Miss Kim's. And uh, these are three gallon Miss Kim's, they're loaded with buds. This is going to be a showstopper in the week ahead. You know, we always have a really nice crop of uh, Euonymus. This is Gaties and two gallons here. Um, and then we'll spin here. Look at that uh, blue fescue, it's coming up, it has a nice plume to it. Again, costers are looking really nice right now. We're going to spin over here. And then this is our favorite. This is uh, just the plain summer wine. And uh, you know, all of these new varieties are looking great and give a lot of summer color. Here we're looking at a hydrangea, and this is oak leaf hydrangea. So this is uh, a tighter, more compact, has a red flower. This is called ruby slippers. And uh, look at these beautiful tight plants. Well, spirea is looking great. I mean, this is uh, part of the double play. This is Big Bang. This is our uh, gold mounds here. Nice color on these. So here we're looking at grass, and you know we're seeing the grasses improve every day with this heat. And uh, this is a panicum. This is Cheyenne Scott. A couple more color items here. We're looking at Wajella spilled wine, and then here we have some of the Sonic series of Wajella. And you know they're coming on. They're nicely trimmed. Again, giving you that shape. They're going to come out looking great. We're looking at the new Potentilla from Bloom and Easy. And again, you can see a lot of these Hetz columnaris coming up. The grass in the background is Gracilimus, which is coming up a little bit faster than some of the other ones. We're looking at our um, boxwood, and this is uh, three gallon green mountains. You can see the nice, consistent shape to those. And here we have our three gallon green velvets. Well, trees always are up on the dock. You can see we've got a good selection of trees coming down here. Very popular um, perennial is geranium roseanne. And uh, this one's great in the garden, it's nice in pots, even in window boxes. Hollies, beautiful crop of three gallon hollies. Those are maids in the background there. And again, these, uh, these tiny series of lilies are coming up and they're bred for their bud count. So you're gonna see three to five buds per stem 
And uh, these are just showstoppers when they're coming out. Be sure to check these out. You can see the guys are starting to get in these uh, city line hydrangeas. We're looking at a grass. This is uh, Hakanaloa or Japanese forest grass. This one happens to be Oriola and uh, nice color plant. The annuals are just now coming in from the greenhouse and we'll show you some more of those in the greenhouse video but again a lot of nice seasonal color coming on. So the awesome color there is mop cypress and we've got incredible value on the two gallon right now. In here I wanted to show you the Dutzia and uh, this is the Yuki series. We have both the snowflake and cherry blossom and they're nice beautiful big twos. Look at the bud count on this. This is going to look sensational next week. More grasses to show you. This is uh, three gallon variegata and uh, you can see they're coming up nicely. Then we have strictus and then this one here is morning light. And I just want to pan over a lot of outstanding roses coming up. We got to get a blast on some new exciting colors and uh, these are knockouts. I believe these are double pinks and uh, you can see we have beautiful roses available. So just as I showed you those roses, uh, some wagons just came up to the dock here. And I'm just going to walk down here to show you. Look at all these gorgeous roses, full of bud and bloom. Definitely want to get your roses in. We've got a sensational crop, good mix of colors. Look at these gorgeous plants, guys. A glimpse of some drift. I mean, we'll probably see more of these on the dock, but again, these just came up, so they're going out on loads today. It's hard to beat those two gallon drifts. From behind the dock here, this pallet's just getting ready to go in. I just pulled one of these three gallon burning bush off. I mean, yeah, that's a three gallon, guys. Look at the value in that one. Here we're looking at Sambucus black lace, you know, and, and with each week we see how the, the heat's really kicking those in, and uh, they're going to be great summer color plants. Another peek at those uh, hydrangeas, and uh, man, I, again, I don't want you to miss out on these. We put a little heat to them, and these city lines are looking sensational. Another really nice color plant. Um, this is Physocarpus Amber Jubilee from First Editions. And it offers a nice array of colors throughout the season. And uh, you do get a bloom on this one, but the foliage is just a showstopper. It has that rust to uh, orange hues and coppers in it. Beautiful three gallon plants. Amber Jubilee. So here we have our three gallons. This is a new plant. So this one is a hydrangea in the endless summer program called Summer Crush. And this will have that raspberry red flower to it. It's a very popular one. So we just pulled one of these Dutzi off. This is another uh, proven winter selection. This is Chardonnay Pearls. And this one gives you that chartreuse color foliage, which again really lights up a dark space. And look at all the buds. So again, good selection of uh, perennials. This one is one that I've showed you in the past, but just another look at it. This is a new Astilbe called Chocolate Shogun. And it gives you that real deep foliage on it, contrasting with white flowers. It'll still be chocolate sugar. Well, we're still getting orders ready here. I came up on these seven gallon. Uh, these are Syringa Bloomerang Dark Purple Trees. And so I'll come in here, look at all those buds. You know, those are just, they're tight. They're just getting ready to open up. Probably next week, 10 days, we'll start to see an amazing display. Seven gallon. Blue meringue, dark purple tree form. Another spirea, you know, they're coming into their own right now, and these uh, all spirea will give you a lot of summer color. And uh, this is a very popular one, old time favorite, spirea little princess. Here's another one of my favorites. This boxwood here is a pyramidal um, variety that is in the plants that work, and it's our own cranberry creek. And uh, we'll zoom in here so you can see the shape on these. Nice, heavy, full plant, perfect all the way to the bottom of the pot, Cranberry Creek. Closer look at those blue, blue fescues. I mean, these are just incredible. Look at that nice color. You know, we've seen our 19 centimeter ferns, and we've got an amazing selection of those. We have a handful of these big threes, and what we're looking at here is our three gallon ostrich fern, and what a value on these guys. These things are beautiful plants. So here we're looking at some iris. So the tall ones are Caesar's brother and the lower ones here are the variegata and uh, these add a lot of nice texture and color throughout the season. So here's a new Minarda and uh, this is Sugar Buzz Grape Gumball and uh, this Minarda will give you this gorgeous um, 
kind of a pink magenta flower to it. Very nice full plant. So here on the dock here you can see that the guys are getting all these orders ready and uh, they're working hard to get things on the truck today. And uh, in the background here we're looking at Aronia and uh, this is really intimate, seven gallons. Look at that size. And then here we're looking at Phlox. This is part of the candy store series and um, you can see here nice full heavy plants. And again you can't beat these daylilies. They're nice big heavy multi fan. These aren't just single fan guys. These are multi fan daylilies that we're offering. Mr. Bowling Ball always looks great on our dock and uh, this is one of my favorite roses. This is Miracle on the Hudson and you can see why. They're always nice big heavy full plants. That new growth has that red tinge to them and uh, it's outstanding true red color flower. This is an award winner guys. Don't miss out on this one. This is Miracle on the Hudson. Here we're looking in more of the roses and uh, you know again we've got a great selection of roses. All colors. We have the new ones that I've shown you on the newsletters and videos here and uh, you can see the growers have done a fantastic job. They're just loaded with buds ready to go. And then here is a sample of the heucheras. Again they're just unloading the greenhouse stuff here. Good selection of colors. Adds a lot of uh, punch to your design. Check out this heuchera. Here's another old favorite. This is Lagustrum Victory. Look at the size of that three gallon. Well, no shortage of roses on the dock. And here's another one. Very popular one. If you got them on your order, I definitely get them in. They're going quick. This is a proven winner selection called At Last. And uh, look at all the buds on these guys. And, um, you know, this is going to have that kind of peachy pink kind of color to it. Very unusual color. Um, traditional looking rose fragrance with all the care of a shrub rose. This is a hot new one. This is called At Last. Leganthemum is another summer color plant and I just pulled one of these off to show you. Nice full containers. This one's whoops a daisy. Look at all these flats coming in. I mean we've got just a, a huge amount of seasonal color tripping in here. Annuals are going strong. People are stocking up getting ready for those uh, uh, Memorial Day parties and they want some color. The bloom we're looking at there is another perennial. This is Cicerinchium Lucerne. And uh, again they're loaded with color here. More ferns. This one is uh, Salix. This is uh, Salix Nishiki. And uh, you know that new growth on it has the different pinks and hues. They really make it a, sh a showstopper here. These are three gallon Salix Nishiki. Some more um, Hydrangea Paniculatas. This is first edition. This is uh, Strawberry Sunday, which is a dwarf paniculata. Look at the consistency in that crop. These are going to give you that kind of bomb pop shaped flower that uh, is really a showstopper throughout the summer. The guy's done a great job shaping them up. They're going to look good on the lot. Here we got more of those uh, Potentillas. Again, a lot of nice summer color. The Spirea here is uh, Double Play Big Bang. And the Lilac in the bas background there is uh, the new one. And uh, look at the color on that one. This is Tiny Dancer. Here we see that the boxwoods are starting to break that new growth. And uh, these are looking good. Here we have our three gallon green velvet. Dianthus, and wow, look at the color on this one. I really like this series. This Paint the Town Fuchsia is just amazing. A lot of flower power in this little plant. This one's become almost a staple on the dock. I think uh, everyone is starting to see the potential in this new Aronia from uh, Proven Winners. This is Aronia Lowscape Hedger. And um, nice short stature. This is a native, so it's adaptable to almost everywhere throughout the Midwest, soil types and uh, cold and wow this one's just a showstopper with about a three foot height makes a nice little formal hedge this is Aronia, low ski hedge. So here we're looking at another Dutia and uh, you know we've seen the white in the Yuki series this is Yuki Cherry Blossom and again you can see heavy heavy two gallon plants loaded with buds. I mean look at your display, what the potential of your display could be with these spirea. I mean we're looking at uh, several of the double plays and nice big full three gallon plants. We have Artisan, this is Big Bang, there's several varieties ready to go. Another very popular rose, this is a new one from Proven Winter, it gives us that really nice orange peachy kind of flower that's hard to find. This is uh, a new one, this is Hot Paprika. Nice full plants loaded with buds. We're looking 
got some 19 centimeter knockouts. Beautiful heavy plants. This is that new one, whipped cream. Um, again, this is a nice shrub rose that's going to give you an amazing amount of flowers. Let's just go in here and look at all the buds. I mean, this is one that is incredible as far as color. Whipped cream. See more endless summers here. I'm panning through. Here we have the uh, Raymond Evanson. These are almost on every order, guys. If you're missing out on these, you're really missing out. And then we're coming over here to our three gallon Winter Gem Boxwood. Let's just pan through here again. We're looking at my Monet. These two gallons are looking good. Another Japanese forest grass. This is Hakanaloa All Gold. So this is uh, Wisteria Amasis. And um, you know, Wisteria vine just starting to leaf out. But you know, this one has a reblooming characteristic. Look at all those buds. Then I'm going to pan over here. Another good value in the hydrangea. Again, this is part of our heated program. This one is revolution. Look at those flower buds, guys. We still have some left. Don't miss it out. I'm just walking in here. You can see loads of color coming in. Just wanted to show you some more of these beautiful plants. There we have more of the, the green mountain boxwood. And again, look at the buds here, guys. The flowers that we're looking at there, those are Syringa uh, bloomerangs. And then again, these Miss Kims this year are really putting on a display. Here we're looking at a rack that has some of our indoor ferns. And you know, this indoor program is, is great because you can enjoy them in your office, on your table. Check this one out. These five and a half inch ferns are beautiful. So here we've seen some mandevilla vines come in. I mean, full trellis, looking great. There's color showing on them. And then some of our plants that work in the kitchen, these are tomatoes and peppers. This will give you a little closer look at those tiny dancer. And uh, you know, these are just starting to open up, so we got a lot of time on these buds. Um, you, know, you can just smell the fragrance walking through the dock here. And uh, we'll just zoom in here. You can look at these flowers. They're traditional, nice, big, heavy, um, fragrant lilacs. This one's tiny dancer. I'm just gonna pan this order on the stock here and you can see more of these cherries we're looking at uh, snow fountain pink snow showers look at all these cherry shipping guys again we got a sensational deal going on cherries you don't want to miss it so here we have more blue fescue and the coreopsis we're looking at there is the greb so look at these here we have our three gallon double knockouts and I just pulled one off the corner here you can see right off that corner look at that beautiful three gallon plant Tight buds, just starting to open, perfect. Here we're looking at some landscape sized boxwood. This is our seven gallon green mountains. All more tractors and wagons coming up and uh, another look at these uh, heated up hydrangeas. And uh, again, this is revolution here. Look at all these buds. Beautiful full plants. We're looking at uh, Sedum Cotacola, some more really nice perennials coming up. We have Aster Purple Dome here, and uh, more daylilies. Again, look at the daylilies, guys. I just wanted to, to come up and show you all our daylilies they have multi fans, good values on these. Well, another two pallets or so of these Geranium Roseanne. Let me just pull one of these out. Again, right off the pallet, look at the gorgeous plant. Some budley has come up. You know, budley is a little later season, so you know we'll see those starting to come in here shortly. And um, they're they're coming on. You know, they're starting to leaf out. And uh, again, probably a week to two weeks, these are really going to start to kick in and show some nice color. Looking at some after eight lilies, and uh, these are a little taller, and I really like them because they have a nice fragrance to them, and they kind of pop up out of the perennial garden and add that fragrance and, and uh, flower that's just unmistakable there. So this one is after eight. More hacking aloe grass. We see Dianthus, very popular right now. And uh, this Barberry is uh, the Sunjoy Tangelo. Nice color to these, good size. So these are Carl Forrester in threes. And you know, these sell out almost as fast as they come on inventory. So if you got them, grab them. Um, and they seem to come on a little quicker than other grasses. And uh, so this is a three gallon Carl Forrester. Japanese bloodgrass is looking great. Look how full those are. So another Monarda. Here we see how the consistency of that crop is looking. 
This is Monarda, pardon my pink. And here in the same order we see the counterpart. This is my Monarda, pardon my purple. And uh, tight compact, disease resistant selection from proven winners. Both colors are looking great. Look at those seven gallon hick size. I mean, nice consistency. The guy's done a great job trimming. Beautiful landscape, great plants. Here, your son's playing a little trick, but I think you can see it. This is Mini Movet, and uh, this is an Annabelle type hydrangea from Proven Winners. Again, these are very arborensis, are very adaptable throughout the Midwest as far as soil and temperatures. This is a shorter stature plant with a lot of flower power. Mini Movet. Here, I'm looking at a truckload just coming in. As I said, a truckload. Uh, going on the docks here are just heuchera, we have some ligularia, we'll see those in the greenhouse, but wow, look at this color, guys. Here we have our 15 gallon Alberta spruce, nice consistent pull, let me go in here just a little bit, maybe I can get inside this door, give you a little better look at them. Here we go, look at that gorgeous plant, I mean this is, you can't beat that, 15 gallon Alberta spruce. Landscape great again. Look at these. Here's our seven gallon mop cypress. Look at that plant. 24 inch plus. A lot of color. More of the Monarda. This one's part of my purple, part of my pink. Here we have another Lucanthemum. That's Daisy May. More of the uh, Asiatic lilies. You can see all the buds there. Geraniums are looking great. Two gallon grasses. Here we have our three gallon Hamlins. Those have come on just nice, man. Look at that, fill it out. You're seeing Alley and Millennium, can full, really nice. That'll give you that blue sphere throughout the summer. Della Sperma Garnet. They're coming on nice. I mean, they got a lot of color. They'll fill out that container and look great. Here's an up close look at the Daisy May again. Beautiful look at them. Another look at, uh, these are all over too, a very popular plant. Three gallon limelights. Again, look at the consistency. The guys shaped those up very nicely for us. They're leafing out, looking good. A great value. This is Variety Big Blue. Look at the size of those one gallon. A great crop here. We have our three gallon. This is Ramnus Fine Line. Nice consistency. You can see there. Beautiful full three gallon plants. Ramnus Fine Line. We're looking at 19 centimeter roses, and size really doesn't matter as far as flower power, because these little guys are loaded with buds. Well, the buds we see there are on Syringa palabiniana myri, and again, they're loaded with color. More of our uh, Buxus green velvet. Here's a, a close look at a Muscanthus. This one is Scout, and uh, so this one is a non-invasive um, seedless variety that we have here, and uh, these are looking great. More of those Maimonets. I mean, jeez, look at the size of those. Gorgeous two gallon plants. Quarter lines, and uh, this one's Red Sensation. This one's kind of one of my favorites because it really stands out in a combination pot. These are beauties. Quarter line, Red Sensation. Oh, well, here's another plant that's hard to beat if you want instant effect for your landscape. This is our seven gallon burning bush. Look at the size of that big, beautiful plant. So I just popped one of these off the pallet here. This is uh, an arborvitae. This one is a proven winter selection called North Pole. And uh, it doesn't get that winter burn, it has a more narrow, compact habit to it, and uh, forms a nice leader. This is a real nice plant. This is Thuja North Pole. So the block we're looking at here is Echinacea. This is Purpurea Magnus, which is a native. Here's another look as the guys are getting this one ready. This is uh, Buxus, Green Mountain 7 gallons. Here we're looking at Digitalis. You know, this one is still coming strong. Great plant if you want to add some color, some spiky color that comes up nice in cottage gardens. These are, uh, geez, they'll last another 10 days to two weeks because they're just starting to open up. We have a good selection of these, Digitalis. So here we're looking at some trees sitting outside the dock and they're getting ready to load on a truck with some containers. And that's all part of our quick ship program. We have some specimen trees that we could put on those loads um, to add to those jobs. So talk to our sales team. We have some beautiful specimen trees available. Well, we're right inside the door and the sun is bright today and I'm not complaining on that, but I do want to show you these uh, Barberry. This is Sunjoy Gold Pillar in a two gallon. Good value on these, outstanding color.
So I couldn't help on the way back to uh, show you the, one of the Clematis houses and uh, to show you these sensational plants. And again, we're coming in to season on these. I mean, look at these nice full trellis plants loaded with flower buds. And you can see nice consistency in the crop. All right, that's a quick walk through the dock here, and you can see the guys are getting ready to start loading these up. You can see I've shown you a lot of nice options for seasonal color. We have foliage color, we have beautiful uh, shrubs, trees, landscape-ready material. Geez, I hope this truck's loading for you.